platform 17 for the 1832 South Central service to Brighton, fast to East Croydon, then Red Hill, Gatwick Airport, three bridges, Baldcom. Comrade Chambers, do you have the files? Yes. I've copied all the material that Comrade Hiss brought me from the State Department. Excellent. I will forward these to Moscow. Can we count on another set of files next month? Yes. Hiss is reliable. I'm surprised you're here. I thought you were stationed in New York. Last month, my contact was Comrade Nevin. <clears throat> Comrade Nevin was recalled to Moscow. The Kremlin did not think his views were acceptable. Well, last year, the Kremlin found my last contact views unacceptable. Comrade Davidovich struck me as a good man, and I heard that he was killed by KGB. Do you know anything about this, Sikorsky? Sometimes these purges, though regrettable, are necessary. But loyal men who dedicated their lives to the motherland, why did they have to be sacrificed? The party is all that matters. We are just insignificant parts of this great movement of liberation. You should not be concerning yourself with such things. We are all expendable. You would be well to remember that, comrade. Now go, before we are seen. How did the drop go? Fine, but I have some doubts. We committed to communism because we love the ideal of liberating people, but what's happening in Russia is brutal, even to devoted party members. Another of your contacts has disappeared? Yes, another. I know the collective is the most important part, but Individual people don't seem to matter to the cause. Esther, what if we're wrong? I feel so, so confused, so torn up inside. Do you remember that neighbor down the hall who asked us to go to church with her? I don't need some preacher to lecture to me. And you know that religion is just another tool used to exploit workers all over the world. It's a Quaker church. There are no preachers. Apparently, ordinary people go and sit in silent prayer, and if someone wants to say something, they can. And I suppose you want to sample the opiate of the people. Esther, that isn't very progressive of you. No, it isn't. But you yourself are looking for something more than dialectics and slogans. You're looking for peace and understanding. What's more reactionary, Whitaker? Exploring the possibility that there's something bigger than the political struggle, or completely denying that possibility because the answer may be uncomfortable. Uh, perhaps you should be on the Politburo. And I suppose we can give it a try. It wouldn't hurt. How about this Sunday? <clears throat> I love the silence, friends. But I feel that God has given me something to share with you. This parable from Luke 15. Suppose one of you has 100 sheep and loses one of them. Doesn't he leave the 99 in open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. Then he calls his friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me! I have found 
my lost sheep. Friends, I believe that Jesus is telling us that everyone we meet is important to him. That's it. That's it. I felt such a peace in that meeting. Is this what we've been missing with? I felt it too. But what really struck me was the story that man shared about the one lost sheep. And that's what's been bothering me. Communism tells us that individuals don't matter, only the state. But what is the state but simply a gathering together of individuals for a common cause? And Christianity says that the individual people are what really matter to God. I wonder, have we been going down the wrong path?